those are the ship parts that we found, which is kind of pointless because we found every single one. The ones in the blue are the ones that are not required to complete the game. But all the ones in the yellow are. And what's the point of that option thing? Because it's one. And it doesn't even actually save. It just saves the stats. We edit. We edit. Edit. Edition. Staff credit. We addition. Jeez. No, I'm not going to make fun of Japanese names unless they're really, really funny. ship parts in 19 days and I will be showing the other endings uh, in separate videos maybe even at the end of this video because I don't think it took me that long so it will either be at the end of the video separated by title screen saying a uh, normal ending and bad ending the one that I'm getting right now is the happy ending. The cre I think this credit's still- UFO design- what? There's no UFOs in this game. But... I think that might have been a, a beta right there, because the thing was blue and then the ship port was going to the red. weird but anyway so those are the same I'll probably put in the other endings at the end of this video and I didn't get a Yamamoto because I did see it because I was talking my favorite boss. This is basically a roll call. Armor of Cain and Beetle. This migrant lithopod has developed stronger carapace than its relatives. And yes, I will be reading these. Beady long legs. Waxy sea creations form this creature's distinctive armored shell. This is a roll call of all the enemies in this game, which is kind of cool because not many games do this. Red bug. This creature's thick hide protects it from most attackers. Oh, it used to be my worst feared boss in the world, but now it's not because I destroyed it easily. Growing snagger. The blue shoe of its feathers distinguish it from the growing snarrow. Which growing snarrows I don't believe have ever been seen before, not even in Pikmin 2. Candy pot bud. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution? Like the Pikmin themselves, it has many mysteries. Run, Steve, run. Dwarf bull bear. A bull bear at an early stage of development in its life cycle. This specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. And here we have probably dwarf bull board. Dwarf bull board. Although similar in appearance to bull boards, these belong to a totally different species. There's Emperor Bull Blacks, the king of them all. The jerk. Emperor Bull Blacks. The massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. Emperor Bull Black actually becomes a main enemy in Pikmin 2, but he's a lot weaker in Pikmin 2. Fiery Blowhog. This creature excels at combusting stuff to make fiery spray. Swooping Snitch Bug. This rare species uses its antenna as wings. There's Gulix. Gulix. A watery gelatinous membrane protects this creature's nervous system. 
Yeah, that's all it is. It's just, it's just an order system. Honey Wisp. This creature collects nectar from the larva waiting in its nest. I don't know what the larva looks like. And there is iridescent foot beetle. This forager stores and they just pellets in its stomach for winter. That's a pleasant thought. And we have the mamuta. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for their decorative properties. Yum 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 yum. Pearly clam. Clam clam. So beautiful, the smallest pearls are thin and fragile, and they give you a crap load of Pikmin too. Pellet posy. This sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. And when oh, Omar did it wrong. Puff stool may consider this mocking fungus a delicacy. Pikmin going everywhere. Puffy blowhog. Instead of breathing fire, the species uses hydrogen to float. Yeah, so it is still part of the fire blowhog and everything. Ooh. Sheer grub. Males of the species are purple and have an armored head. White ones cannot do anything except eat your bridges, which is kind of neat. Sheer wig. You can see red bug in the background. It's the males of these species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. And here's how we never saw female sheer wigs. Alright, I will also be showing off optional bosses in this. Yes, I will do Gulix again. Sorty Pog, thought to be a malformed larva mamuta. Because you woke it up in its egg. Spotty Bull Bear. This rare subspecies of bulbor has certainly indefatigable. What? Spotty bulbor. This nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals returning to their nest at night. Like Pikmin. Water dumples. Man, Olmar is really bad at fighting those things. Water dumple. This aquatic creature is a close relative, relative of the bulbor. And these are the log pools. The Wally Wog babies. Wog pool. This creature just appears to be a newborn yellow Wally Wog in tadpole form. So they don't give you really that much Pikmin and they don't give you. Almost said they don't give you any money. Wally Wog. This creature's coloration results from many sheltered and cavernous bones. Yes, because the first table is actually a cave, it is not open. Yellow Wally Wog. After evolution led to the development of a specialized jumping ability, this amphibian actually lost much of its ability to swim. <laughs> what a happy end. Okay, we have to click A or maybe it just stays like this forever. Maybe it times out, I don't know. You can go back to the title screen. I won't show off challenge mode, because that's kind of a worthless mode. 